Thank you, Mr. Fell, for the interview. The very first question is um, sounds like that. Uh, so you attended the regional uh, energy conference yesterday, organized by South Caucasus Office of uh, Heinrich Bell Foundation. Could you very briefly reflect on it? And uh, in your opinion, where the countries are in terms of developing sustainable energy? The conference is very good and necessary. The Caucasus region needs in development to renewable energy and energy efficiency. And this conference uh, brought together the um, people who promote it, who work on it, and therefore they have a good experience. It is not so easy to speak about the region here. All nations have a target to go to renewable energies, but the target and especially the measurements are very weak here in the region. We need more strong politician support. I hope Azerbaijan, there is a discussion today to switch the home uh, use of natural gas to export more natural gas into a home electricity production with wind and solar with biogas. This would be a good idea to develop it and I hope this will come in force. Thank you. Sorry. A question with three questions is, is not so easy for a okay. camera. Okay. I will split it. Yeah. Uh, so what should be the factors that could accelerate the deployment of renewable energy in the South Caucasus countries? The factors are clear. Now renewable energies are very cheap. The cheapest energy source uh, compared with conventional energies when we compare new investment with new investment. The Caucasus region needs new energy and so the best way to go on an economic level is to go to renewable energies and combined with energy efficiency. This helps to develop the region, to fight against poverty, to bring more economic growth and it helps the climate protection. So it would be a good idea when the Caucasus region goes to renewable energies like many other regions, countries, nations, towns in the world with their target 100% renewables do it already. Yeah, and can we add what could be the best instruments to do so? Yeah, the instruments are on a political level to go with a uh, good feed-in tariff that brings the investors a um, profitable investment and we must uh, go also to um, cancelling the subsidizing of the fossil energy sources. This is a way why energy from fossil resources are cheap for the consumers. When you switch the subsidizing to renewables and to energy efficiency, it can grow very fast and you must bring more and more uh, um, measures for education for the people, for research, that the people can learn how to deal with renewable energies, how to work with it, how to promote it. Thank you. And. Uh so I think one of the main, one of the quite important question is who shall be the main driver of the change? The main, uh, what are yeah. sorry, what are the roles of society, business, and the government? All mm -hmm. the society, the government, the business, all are very important. The renewable energies are decentralized. Therefore, the private people, the cooperatives, the so. Um, society is very, very important to play an active role and everywhere we have, we have um, a success in renewable energies like in Germany or in Europe, cooperatives and private people play a very important role. But the government must make the measures, the legal uh, framework that they have it easy to go to renewable energies and the business will come then. The business is follows when the rules are okay, the business will go with the cheapest energy to earn money and therefore all three partners are very important. Yesterday at the conference you highlighted several times that uh, this is the most democratic policy uh, Germany ever had. Yeah. So can you tell us about it as well? Yes, the conventional energy with big power plants, with uh, big mineral oil companies, they are not democracy friendly because the big concerns earn a lot of money and the wide society do not take part on the employment, do not take part on the income. So when you go to renewable energies, millions of the people can take part in this business. 
business and therefore they can get new employment, new income and therefore it is a fight against poverty and a fight for democracy. And the final question, how do you think what should be very first steps Georgia, Armenia and Azerbaijan shall take for promoting renewable energy? First step should be to make a feed-in tariff law that brings a good uh, benefit for the investors. This will highlight also um, the investment from the home people and will highlight the investment also from foreign, from abroad. Even the foreign investment with foreign money brings employment here in the country. Therefore, it is a good combination. When you have a fit-in tariff, you can also uh, cancel the subsidizing for conventional energies and make a subsidizing for renewable energies. For example, a tax exemption for biofuels, for sustainable biofuels, that's very important. And this can promote an investment of the rural areas to create their home made biofuels instead of oil use and you can make a lot of other in, um, measurements. I highlighted also um, education system to create um, universities on schools, new education, how to deal with renewable energies on a technology level, on a society level and as well as an economic level. This is very important to go together with all these measurements. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure. Thank you. Yeah, thank you.